watch says 930. I think it stopped. Well, there was a, right? well, there was there was there was a long game, Coach. So that's about it. Yeah. Is that right? Mm-hmm. Wow. You can attest to that. A lot of stoppages. Thirty-four. Yeah, we foul a lot. Um, tremendous amount of credit to North Carolina Central. There's a reason uh, they're an NCAA tournament team. Um, they're extremely well coached. They were extremely well prepared. And um, I like his team. I like him. I like it. I've got a lot of respect for Lavelle and, and the job he's done. And he, he repeatedly gets that team back in the tournament. So, uh, and he's done a great job of staying old um, with his with his team. So, um, they were the aggressor. Uh, we got on our heels. That was very evident uh, by the rebound numbers. And uh, um, I thought Tijon uh, was really the sole reason that we made a run to start the second half. Uh, his defensive pressure, his flying around, his communication uh, was, was, a, was a big part of it. Uh, again, he had another great night sharing the ball, six assists, uh, one turnover. Uh, and. Uh, you know, and for the, and for that matter, Mark Allstork didn't shoot it worth uh, worth two hoots, but uh, five assists, no turnovers, and then Trent Frazier had four assists as well. Um, but um, uh, you know, part of my responsibility is to make sure that these guys are dialed in mentally, uh, not just physically. And um, I let them down today. I didn't do a very good job of making sure that we were um, we were prepared to play this game uh, emotionally. And um, uh, you know that's that was I think evident by the way our freshmen played um, and their lack of productivity. Uh, you got one of the country's leading free throw shooters and Mark uh, Smith going one for four. Um, you know that's that's focus and and that's my job is to is to make sure that they're dialed in. But uh, great game from Fink, uh, shooting it great. Uh, we need more from him on the offensive glass. Uh, and then I thought Leron, um, 12 and 8, and uh, uh, we didn't get him the ball near enough in the zone, and um, that was that was evident. But uh, um, you know, and then Aaron was Aaron. I, I you know, the the correlation between <clears throat> showing up in the gym every day and getting extra shots, and then having success on the court. Uh, you, you make a poster of, of of him. He's the he's the poster boy for. Uh, work and hard work paying off on the court, and uh, I want him shooting every ball. I think the only one he missed was when he got blocked, and and uh, uh, you know he's 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 running it at a pretty high level right now, and and every time he shoots it, I sure think it's going in, and and uh, uh, we want him to continue that. Questions, Brett? I heard you say on the radio that um, you got to coach it out of these guys that when adversity hits, they kind of. Just kind of go into a shell. Press, uh, what, break. Press breaker. Yeah, have you had that before? And and how do you coach that out of a team? Yeah, we went through it last year. Um, not playing to lose and playing to play. You know, and and I'll, I'll be honest. I I mean, I I got mad at Michael for taking a shot, a three, a really quick three. We had a layup that we fumbled it. Tijon fumbled it, and we kicked it out. And. <clears throat> So I've been really barking at Fink to be aggressive and shoot the ball. So he did. And yet, now we've got to understand the time and score, and we haven't spent enough time on that. We worked all day yesterday on the press break, and all of a sudden, we ran it right one time, right down the sideline, middle guy broke, we threw a bounce pass because he broke out, we got a dunk. Um, just like it's supposed to. And we do it great in practice, great. And when you see things done, well in practice, and then all of a sudden you get in the game, and you're just, eh, and you can't do that. And we're getting much better. Believe me, we are a hundred times better than than we were. And it's 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 playing, playing the way that you know the game has to be played with the effort that it has to be played, and 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 uh, and expecting the the right outcome. And we went through it last year. Um, and we're getting better. I, you know, I, I called a play. I had 
Trent in the game and Tijon and um, called a little play against the zone. And everybody knows what the play is. It's really simple. And yet, you know, and again, it's freshman. Uh, Trent didn't know it because he hadn't played particularly in that spot uh, a lot. That's we we got to get through that. And um, every, I mean, it's a simple play. Everybody should know it. Everybody should be able to run every every spot. And for the most part, most of our guys can. But um, you know, it's 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 it's, it's confidence. It's it's expecting to to do the right things and make the right plays and you know no no lead is safe and no deficit is too big and 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 we've got to we, we've got to continue to play that way well you mentioned that nc central was the aggressor and i mean i imagine that runs counter to what you know, you want, was that part of the halftime discussion? And do you feel like maybe the start of the second half that Tijon was able to flip oh, that a little bit? Yeah, he took con complete control. He took control of the locker room. He took control of the, uh, I didn't, there wasn't anything. I didn't need to do anything X and O wise. I mean, that's why we came out with seven and a half or eight minutes on the on the clock. I didn't need to, you know, and, and, and I just told our coaching staff, I said, we're going to find out who will lead and we're going to find out who will fight. And, and and if if we want to keep accepting getting whipped, then we'll get whipped. And uh, you know, at some point, there's got to be uh, some pride. And uh, you know, nobody likes to get in the ring and keep getting jabs thrown at you. Eventually, one of them's gonna gonna knock you out. And uh, Tijon Tijon stepped up, and and I thought Leron stepped up, uh, but but Tijon was Tijon was driving that bus, and and uh, I was really excited to see that. Uh, 20, 20 assists on 28 made field goals. Just how huge was that for you guys in the second half to really take the lead and take control? Well, I love 20 assists um, on, on 28 field goals. What I, what I don't like is we've got to go get those ones that because there's, what do we shoot? 28 of 62, so how many, that's 30, how many misses is that? What's a, how many misses we have? 34. So we only got, what? Nine offensive rebounds, we're averaging 38% of our misses back. So instead of having uh, 20 assists on 28 field goals, I would much rather have 20 assists on about 35 field goals, and that means we're getting seven easy ones off offensive rebounds that we're not facing that defense. And that's what I'm, that's what I'm, uh, I'm, I'm upset about is is we've we've got to become that team. When offense is hard and teams are good, you've got to find a way to get easy baskets. Um, and the other thing I'm not overly thrilled about is 29 attempts from the three. But um, can't do that on the road. Uh, admittedly, Coach, I don't have the uh, full sample size of the Brad Underwood sideline experience just yet. But uh, you seemed very, very vocal, very into it from the start tonight. Did you sense something? No was question. Yeah. No question. I knew. I knew all day. I, I knew how good they are. I know how hard they play. I know it was a big game for them. Um, and 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 I just sensed I've I've been doing it long enough I've just got a feel, and and we weren't sharp, uh, overly sharp in, in shoot around today, um, you know and and let's let's be honest I mean we 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 get we do that in Big Ten play we're losing, no matter who we play we do that in Big Ten play we're losing and I don't I'm, I'm not a very uh, you know I tried to I, I tried to fight for him a little bit and, and yet get on him. And, 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 you know, our freshmen, I thought, first time all year, I didn't think they gave us much off the bench other than Aaron. Um, Kipper got going a little bit in the second half. But, uh, um, boy, our, our – our, uh, and give them credit. Give North Carolina Central. But I, but I, but I felt it, and that's, that's a feeling I don't care for much. Brad, obviously bigger tests next week. How, how prepared do you think your team is for what's coming next week? Well, we're six and zero, oh, so I think we're, we're we're prepared. I think that you know we've been on the road. We've we've uh, we scrimmaged Vanderbilt. We went to you know we went to Eastern and and have seen hostile crowds and uh, did all that. We're going to see. Uh, uh, I think they won today. Um, you know, D Danny had them in the NCAA tournament and. Uh, you know it'll be a it'll be a big boy game, and as we head into two Big Ten games, so 
um, I'm excited. I'm looking forward to it. I, you know, it's, uh, it, it, it's, it's time to take the next challenge and move and grow and, and, and see what we, uh, see what we do. And, and, uh, you know, I think our average margin of victory is close to 19 or 20 or something like that. That one's, the ones coming up aren't going to be like that. So we, you know, we're going to have to learn to grind and fight and, and execute. In the first half, after Brandon Cruz whistled uh, Coach's box violation, you, you made a comment to him about a horrible rule. Do you remember? Yeah. No, it's a, it's a judgment. Um, he was out of the box. It's a point of emphasis this year. Um, but I'm going to start utilizing that rule to my benefit now. Um, you know, shoot, late shot clock, and I can't comment on – but the rule itself is late shot clock. There's no reset. So just step out of the box and get a warning with, you know, short shot clock and there's no reset. Now you got to side out of bounds and you can change defense and you can do all sorts of things. And, uh, you know, I'm not a very big fan of that rule, but uh, it worked for them and, and uh, we didn't handle it very well. I think it's just got to be, I think it's got to be a judgment. You know, call it at the end of the possession, in my opinion, but um, not with a short shot clock. Second rule. Coach, you, you seem to really, uh, your eyes light up when you talk about Aaron Jordan. You had a kid at uh, Oklahoma State last year, Jeffrey Carroll, who really blossomed in his one season under you. Do you see parallels with, with the him and all, or is two different kind of players? Similar, similar. Yeah, I, I mean, um, you know, I think, yeah, they're pretty similar. I, I um, you know, I, I think it was 17, 18 games before I actually started Jeff. Um, and, um, for a lot of the same reasons, you know, I'm, I'm continually hounding AJ on the defensive end as I did JC. But, um, you know, I think he he played himself into one of the biggest turnarounds in college basketball last year. And um, AJ's, you know, and I I love his productivity off the bench. There's a there's a big. I mean, you hear the other coaches screaming and barking when he comes in. No, know, know where he's at. That that's impactful. So, uh, but yeah, there's a lot of similarities right now. Uh, Coach, you guys get out rebounded tonight. Is that just because of lack of presence on the offensive glass, or do you feel like you guys struggled to control the rebound on the other end? Both, both. I mean, that, give them the credit. Give Central the credit. I mean, they they went, they challenged us, they 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 whipped us. They deserve to uh, they deserve to to out rebound us tonight. It seems like there's been a lot of foul calls um, both ways. You guys drawing fouls and also committing fouls. 53 fouls tonight. Is that is there something that's different? Is uh, what's what do you attribute that to? Man, you're trying to get me in trouble. Um, 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 you know, I think there's. Uh, I think we're one of the top five teams in the country or close to it in, in terms of free throw attempts and fouls drawn maybe. And um, we try to play that way. Uh, the, the way the rules are today, the lane is extremely challenging. The paint is extremely challenging to defend because they've, they've, the, the rules are, are not to allow secondary defenders to do much. And um, – but um, a majority of our, or I don't want to say a majority, some of our fouls were not very intelligent. Those are the ones I need to try to eliminate. Anything else? Okay, thank you. Thank you.